Well, Elsonio Dream's been out on the racetrack. We've got Jeff and Alex here. Well, gentlemen, you tell me, what are you working on right now? Uh, we're just getting him on the harness after he went to train him on. After he went on his mile. Yeah. So now, give me an idea here, because I mean, you know, a lot of people, you know, horses are a hobby for a lot of people, but obviously for you guys, it's more than just a hobby. What What is your purpose with the horse? Uh, just basically to uh, raise them up and mm -hmm. get them ready to race and condition them and, mm -hmm. and try to make a living doing that. <laughs> See if you can. And where does your living come from then? Uh, purse money. Purse money. So you go to a race, yeah. you do well, um, you get paid, and you hope you do well again next week. Okay. <laughs> That's how it goes. Yeah. So now, then when you talk about the conditioning and the training part, what goes into training? A horse to to race them. Well, uh, you're talking from the time you put the harness on them. At least the young horse at least six months. Six months is six it? Six months before they race. If nothing goes wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which of course never happens. No, well, <laughs> but, uh, and then uh, yeah, there's a lot of work to it. Uh, a lot of work to it. I can imagine. So now, when you when you do have, because I mean, obviously you've got a lot of foals yeah. hanging around. Yeah. Um, I mean, what's what's helped you decide that this might one day be a racehorse? You pretty well got to get them all going. You never know. You never know. You know. One that you don't like might turn out the best one. Yeah. One you really like might not be no good. You yeah. never know. Like you got to just. It's a numbers game. Yep. It's a numbers game. And is it all? Is it just about speed? Is that the only thing to it, or is there more to it than that? Uh, speed and manageability and whatever that you got to really, you got to tell them drive them. You know, you can't uh, you can't just have one that's fast. They have to be do what you want them to do, basically. You know, it's like, it's like a car that can go fast and you can't steer. You know? <laughs> it's no good to you anyway. You got brakes, and they just have to have everything all around, really. Yeah. So. And then so now when you are, you know, like obviously breeding is a big part of that too. Yeah. How do you make a decision as to who gets bred to who? Yeah, you kind of just go by the bloodlines and the individuals and like that. That's about all you can do. Yeah. yeah. Just kind of, and then, and then hope for the best. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly yeah. Yeah. So now, so you get a foal out there. How long before you're actually going to start training them? How old do they, are, do they get to be? Well, we call them yearlings. Every horse is when they're born. Mm -hmm. Their first birthday is January the 1st. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Every horse is the same age. Yeah. When they're yearlings. Okay, so they'll be, well, a year and a half old. Yeah. Oh, okay. In the yeah. fall. Of the year. Yeah. Year. And then that's when you can start training. Start yeah. training. So, so give me an idea. How do you day one of training a horse? Yeah. How do you how do you start? What do you do? Well, you, <laughs> everybody does it different. You just have to basically you start by line you have to keep them steer and then uh, hook them to the car and uh, the guy rides on the side and then. You just, the far the longer you go, the farther you go, basically. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many miles, you start going training miles a couple yeah. times a week. Yeah. And then gradually bring them down to race speed. Yeah. Hopefully they can go fast. <laughs> Hopefully they can go fast. So, so really, you're training them for a long time before you even really know if they're going to be oh, a good yeah. racehorse or not. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can, they can train down the way, too, and then race them. Uh, yeah. so, isn't know, that some something? Train good and race terrible, and some yeah. train terrible and race good. You know? Yeah. So, a lot of it's a will to win. Is some it? Some horses want to win, some don't. Really? Yeah. It's in their almost their personality has that in it. Yeah. Well, like isn't that something? Big horses that you can train out here that you know, they're not done. put them in a race where you go. Oh, really? Yeah. And other ones will train so good. And then they can't beat nobody. No, really, they just don't have that drive. You know, it's probably one of those things. You guys have been doing this for yeah. <laughs> more than a couple of years. Yeah. You get a pretty good sense after after it's working the around them. You know, who's gonna Who's gonna work and who's gonna Who's not? I can't tell you which ones are gonna be good. Yeah, but I can tell you the ones that are good. So then, where do you like? Where do you guys race? We're strictly Ontario. Are you? Yeah, yeah. but uh, they race all over North America. Is it? Yeah. You'll go to 
he's got races all over North America. Does he? Yeah, because he's that good of a horse. Yeah, he's, 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 yeah. he's, he's a world top caliber. caliber. Yeah, top yeah. caliber. Yeah, yeah. So he'll go all over North America. Yeah. But you guys generally are here in Ontario. You're yeah, racing yeah, yeah. that. We used to race all over, but basically now just just Ontario. Well, yeah. if we got something that has to be down there. We'll just send them to somebody down there to let them race. Let them look after. Yeah, yep. Yep. Costs so much money to send ship them down and trucking. And everything. Yep. You putting you up and That's all that right. kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. 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 Um, so then, if people are so really, it's one of those things that if people are heading to the horse races at a spot like London or yeah, yep. you know things like that, chances are you guys are on the docket. Yeah, we'll be there. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, what, what's it take to, you know, what, what's a racehorse eat? What's it take to, you know, keep them day to day? Well, ours are open three times a day. Three times a day. Grain, hay, and, well, clean water and good hay. Yeah. Like, it, man, it's the same as any livestock. Mm -hmm. more good feed you put in, the more you get out. Yeah, the better they're going to do for you. Yeah. But they eat, what, 10 pounds a day of grain? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. 25 of hay. 25 of hay. So they're they're hungry buggers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But then they're big too and strong yeah. and working hard and yeah. Um, yeah, the more you work, the more they eat. The more they eat too. Yeah. You know, a lot like well, like an athlete as a person. You've yeah. got to yeah. they've got to eat well and yeah. eat a lot and they're going to do better for it. Yeah. 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 Cool.